por, tu, por su atención. 73 legislators in favor and 50 against. A cabinet approved but plagued with questions, lack of experience, allegations of corruption, and Prime Minister Guido Bellido accused of making a so-called apology for terrorism by appearing to support the Shining Path extremist group. It put off even some of the moderates. Legislators shouted at Bellido for making remarks in the indigenous Quechua language, even though he was calling for a new start. We want to face a different future, different from the unfair, centralized, elitist and deeply exclusionary country. The newly inaugurated leftist government will now focus on Peruvians left behind. Bellido says the priority will be to tackle the pandemic that's left nearly 200,000 Peruvians dead and 30% of the country in poverty. They should be the priority of our social policy. It is time to begin to close this gap and access to rights that shame us as Peruvians. It won't be easy. It's been a confrontational first month in office for President Pedro Castillo. Analysts say a powerful and united right-wing alliance in Congress may crush Castillo and his team. There is an enormous lack of knowledge of how to govern a very complex state, of understanding power and what you need to do if you want to achieve a certain governance in a country in crisis. Castillo is the fifth president in the last five years. Some of the politicians who've given the cabinet a green light are also sending him a message fire the ministers and start all over. President Castillo tweeted thanks for giving his cabinet the vote of confidence. He said the consensus will allow them to govern with the people. However, analysts say the political battles will likely continue. Nearly 50% of Peruvians didn't vote for Castillo, and the political opposition in Congress may guarantee an uphill battle for a president and a cabinet with hardly any experience in governing. Mariana Sánchez Al Jazeera, Lima, Perú.